Hi, this is Dawn from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today we're going to work on this little pot handle or pan handle. It's kind of like a pot holder that you can slip over the handle of your fry pans like your like this one right here, this cast iron frying pan. You know how these handles get really hot? You can just slip it over and you'll be able to pick up your frying pans without the heat um, affecting your hand. So I made this out of 100% cotton yarn and let's get um, started on making this little pot handle or pan handle. This is the handle, the pot handle up close. This is just a quick little easy um, project that you can do. I made it using um, Premier Home Cotton. This is actually the ball I use but I don't have the label on for it anymore so I'm not sure what the color was but I would suggest you using a cotton yarn. This particular one is 85% cotton and 15% um, polyester. I wouldn't use anything less than an 85% cotton or 80% cotton. Um, you can use 100% um, cotton like Lily's Sugar and Cream or the Peaches and Cream um, cotton like you can get at Walmart. But definitely use cotton yarn. Do not use um, any type of acrylic or acrylic blend yarn because acrylic does not do well when coming in contact with heat. So let's get started on making this cute little um, pot holder or pot handle. I don't know how what you would call it um, for your cast iron pans. In today's tutorial, I'll be using a 4.0 millimeter or G hook. To start our pot holder handle, we're going to use a magic ring. Place your yarn over your first two fingers and secure it with your thumb. Wrap it around and form an X on the back of your fingers. Place your hook underneath the bottom string, grab the top one, pull it over, and twist. Grab the top ring yarn again, and chain one. Now since we're doing single crochets, we do not need to chain anymore. And we're going to place eight single crochets into the magic ring. And I do apologize about the little chatter in the background. That is my little white rats that are messing with their water bottle. Okay, cinch up the magic ring and slip stitch to the first single crochet. To start round two, chain one and single crochet into the same stitch you just made and place another single crochet into that stitch. So you're going to place two single crochets into that same stitch and place two single crochets into each stitch around. Sorry, my yarn is getting tangled. Okay, continue this 
going around, placing two single crochets in each stitch, and I'll meet you back up at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round two. We have 16 stitches, and we need to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made. Chain one, and we're going to single crochet into each stitch around. You're going to come back to the beginning and slip stitch into that first single crochet. I'll meet you back up at the end of this round. I'm at the end of round three. I still have 16 stitches and we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made. Now for rounds four through 20, they're going to be exactly the same as round three. I'm going to place one single crochet into each stitch around and then slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made. So please repeat that for round four to round 20 and you will get a project approximately this size and let me pull out my measuring tape so I can let you know exactly how long this is. This is five inches long. Now if your pot handle is longer than this, you can continue going for more than 20 rounds. This fit my skillet which I believe is a 12 inch skillet. So if you have a larger skillet with a larger handle, you might want to do yours a little bit longer. If you have a smaller skillet, you can do it less rounds. But if you have the same size as I do, please do 20 rounds and I'll meet you back at the end of your 20 rounds so that we can do our last, the 21st round together. I'm at the end of round 20. We're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made. And chain one. Now for the final round, we are going to place a slip stitch into the same stitch we just slip stitched into and into each stitch around just to kind of give it a little bit of an edging. So go ahead and place a slip stitch into each stitch around. And I will meet you back up at the end of this round at the end of the round 21 and instead of slip stitching into that first slip stitch that we have, we're going to pull up a loop and fasten off. And now we're going to do an invisible finish. So thread up your yarn needle and go into that last stitch, go underneath both loops, like so, and bring your yarn together, then go into the back loop of your first, of that last stitch, and pull it back so it looks like another stitch, and weave your yarn under, 
a few stitches on the inside to lock it into place. Don't want to pull it too tight because you want to make sure it still looks like another stitch. Now it's a little tight quarters in there, but you want to make sure you get it under a couple of different fibers and weave it back and forth a few times so it doesn't pull back out because that would definitely unravel your entire project. Once you have that end secure, you can just go ahead and snip it off. And there is your pot holder for the handle of the frying pan. If you've liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you won't miss any of my tutorials. Thank you for watching and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.